Property tax relief could be on the way as a special session at the state capitol has concluded. Lawmakers were able to pass a property tax deal negotiated by the governor's office and two groups that brought two property tax measures to the statewide ballot this year. Gabrielle Franklin has more from the capitol. Yeah, things ended pretty smoothly here at the state capitol on the last day of special session with both sides satisfied that the bulk of the compromise stayed intact. We, we think that it was good. It was really close to what we agreed on with our original framework and that got went through the public, went through the task uh, force, uh, the task commission, whatever they call it. Uh, and so, yeah, we're happy with how it ended up. Michael Fields is the president of Advanced Colorado and a Channel 2 political analyst. Advanced Colorado is one of the main groups behind ballot initiatives 108 and 50, initiatives that lawmakers say would have cut funding for local services that the state could not afford to pay back. We ended a cycle of destructive ballot initiatives. We have an agreement that that will continue for the next three cycles. So at least until 2030, we have stopped what we're going to be devastating ballot initiatives being brought forward by special interest groups in this state. An agreement that should remain on the table as long as lawmakers don't go back on the provisions of the bill. You know, there's assurance that the governor is going to sign it. I think there'll be something that happens on the same day or within a few hours of each other. Uh, I don't think that's going to be an issue, but we're definitely going to remove our measure. He's definitely going to sign it. And I think, you know, that's the, the clarity that people need, the certainty that people need is that this is going to happen. It will happen in the next few days. Though the rate cut is not as big as the ballot initiative proposed, fields and supporters feel the compromise on a 6.4% residential rate is fair. And they're pleased with the cap on revenue growth for local government. The deal giving localities the option to vote out of the cap. Fields saying the final product strikes the right balance for all parties involved. Yeah, they're still going to be high. I wish we could cut them even more. There will be a little bit of a cut to it over the next few years. But what it does is it stops another increase, right? So this is your bill is not going to get 30, 40 percent higher again, not in the next couple of years and not ever unless you vote out of it. So I think that the relevant thing is there was a big spike. You're going to see a little bit of relief now. You're going to make sure it doesn't go up in the near future and then the caps make sure it doesn't go up in the distant future. Yeah, and for the most part, lawmakers on both sides of the aisle are happy that the special session is over. They say that they know that there is still more work to be done and they look forward to funding areas that need more funding as a result of the lost revenue in this compromise. Reporting outside the state capitol, Gabrielle Franklin, 2 Prime News.